Hey guys, it's me again, and we're in the top nine of next top nail artists. It's time for the fourth challenge called LA Legend, sponsored by Orly. So, are you ready to get all Hollywood and glam? Well, let's go. Okay, so this week, Orly asked us to recreate a Hollywood landmark on one hand using one of the following medias, nail polish, gel polish, and acrylic paints. Yeah, um, hello, Swedish, um, never been to Hollywood. I googled and googled and googled and googled and finally I came across this super awesome theater called Grandma's Egyptian Theater. Perfect match, don't even describe half of it, since I'm a huge Egyptian history fan with all the pyramids and wall paintings and tubes and pharaohs and cool creepy stuff. One particular thing that stood out was a huge decoration in the ceiling in the shape of an Egyptian scarab and the sun, so I wanted that to be the main focus in my design. I also found this cool old looking sign outside of the theater, so that was a must to incorporate in some way to add to the theater feeling and not just making a general Egyptian theme. The last thing that I really wanted to incorporate into my design was the hieroglyphs. So I looked up a couple of symbols that I found on the walls, and then I found this poster which reminded me of papyrus paper. So that basically sealed the deal. Time to get down and dirty. I started off by creating my extensions using forms and gel. Then I applied two different colors of gel polish, wiped the sticky layer off, buffed them up, and got ready to do some serious painting. I wanted the three middle fingers to have the same coloring and texture as the theater ceiling. So I took a couple of different acrylic paint colors, a pair of tweezers, a small sponge, which I just took small pieces of and started to dab away, slowly building up some dimension using the different colors. Same thing with the pinky where I wanted my papyrus to be. I started off with some lighter colors, building it up with some darker ones and at the end I used a black and brown mix to draw super teeny tiny lines. They don't have to be perfect to get that worn out look and then sealing it off by sponging some black all around the edges. I decided to put the sign on the thumb and therefore it also got a little black dirty splatters on it. I then started to draw the border around the sign using gold acrylic paint. I sketched out my letters and filled them out and added some shadowing to make it look 3D. I finished the sign off by painting some details on the border and here's how it turned out. The pinky hieroglyphs were simply just painted on with some black acrylic paint, like this. Although not this fast, just for the record, in case you didn't know. I then started to draw the base of the scarab using white acrylic paint because I wanted to build it up using gel polish to make it look like a real scarab. After the base was done, I slowly built up the body using small drops at a time and curing in between. I repeated this process a couple of times and also built up the small bead. Now it's time for my favorite part, shadowing! When I draw just for fun, I like to draw faces and hair. There's just something about shadows and highlights that I find so fascinating. So the trick here is to add shadows and highlights and slowly just building it up. You have to be patient though, the more layers you add, the more 3D it will get. So don't settle with just a couple of minutes. When I do hair, I can sit for hours just adding more shadows and highlights. If you're unsure where to put them, just remember that the darkest black is the most far away from you. That's where no light hits the surface, and the brightest highlights are the parts that are closest to you. When the scarab was done, I started to paint the wings in the same way as before, adding a base and then building it up with shadows and highlights. Then I added the sun shining out from the bead using acrylic paint in the colors gold, copper, and green tone gold. The last thing to do was to paint everything with some matte top glass and abracadabra. Here's my interpretation of Grandma's Egyptian theater. And yes, you guessed it, it is voting time again and I need you my awesome Nail Mafia team again. So you can start voting today at around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time until Thursday 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You'll find the link below as usual together with all of my hundreds of other media sites. Thank you for always supporting me. You know it means a lot and hopefully I'll see you with another video next week. Keep your fingers crossed. Hey